My name is Edward, and I tinker with things. In this episode, I will show you how to design simple cookie cutters using a macro in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a free, open source, general purpose parametric 3D CAD modeler, as they are describing on their wiki page. The keywords here being free and parametric. You can find a link for the download page in description. As for all parametric CAD software, at least as I know of, everything begins with a sketch. I'm trying here to create a star-shaped cookie cutter, so firstly, I have to create the star sketch. I create a pentagon in construction mode, just to have the tips of the stars defined. The objects drawn in construction mode will not be shown in the final object. They are just auxiliary objects used for defining the final object. After creating the pentagon and adding some constraints, I just draw the star shape. Toggle the lines between the construction mode and remove the lines I don't need. I don't want the tips to be sharp, so I add some fillets there. Then I add some construction lines to be able to add some constraints to make the shape symmetrical. And this is the final shape. As a good practice, it's better to have the sketch fully constrained, but I didn't bother here to achieve that. It's okay for this demonstration. After that, I start recording a macro. I'm exiting the sketch mode, entering the part mode, and creating a 2D offset of 0.8 mm. That's because the nozzle of my 3D printer is 0.4 mm and I want to have two perimeters for the cutting edge. Then I extrude the resulting object for 25 mm and this is the cutting edge. I then create a thin 2 mm brim by offsetting the sketch by 10 mm so the cookie cutter is easy to hold. And that's the star-shaped cookie cutter. I save the SLT file and stop the macro recording. Now, because there is a bug in saving into the macro file one of the properties of the 2D offset operation, I have to add that manually in the macro file. It is about the fill offset property. So, I edit the macro and add the two lines in the sections corresponding to the two 2D offset operations performed earlier. As a note, I already reported the problem and it will be fixed in one of the next FreeCAD versions so in the future this step will not be needed. Then I made a simple sketch to see how well the macro works.
end it works perfectly, as simple as that. Basically it can be used for any closed, not too complex shape. I then printed the cookie cutters. And after that, put them to use. My wife made some dough for gingerbread and tested the cookie cutters. She was pleased with the result. And I was pleased with the final edible result. As you can see, this is a very simple project that basically anyone having a 3D printer can entirely do it. Bon appetit!